everybody. Crew Blonde Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. <laughs> Shane. Uh, Eric. <laughs> Wasn't that loud? And we are back with the chapter two of Book One. Aura. Hey, we finally got a book called Air. That's nice. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Because mm. we had water, earth, fire, now air. Air. So yeah. what's the next book going to be? I don't know. Do you going to loop around again? It's got to be water. That makes sense. <sighs> or will it be something entirely different because she knows all the elements already. Heart. Captain Planet! A leaf in the wind. And in the final round, the buzzard wasps won with a decisive knockout. <laughs> what do you say we go to the arena yeah, tonight? Catch a few pro bending matches. That sport pro bending? is a mockery of the noble tradition of bending. How old do you think Tenzin is? So oh, my oh. mother informed me that you've never been able to air bend before. The other elements came so <sighs> like easily to me, but every single time I've tried air bending, <clears throat> nothing. That's perfectly all right. We just need to be patient. Often the element that's the most difficult for the avatar to master is the one <laughs> most opposite to the avatar's personality. The goal is to weave your way through the gates and make it to the other side without touching them. Hmm. Seems easy enough. Sweet. <laughs> That's fun. You're not, you're not going with the flow. She's hitting everyone. Don't, don't. Ah, oh. uh, she's stubborn. And she's trying to just push through rather than. Airbend. <laughs> no. Grab your snacks and grab your kids because this next match is going to be lettuce. a doozy. He's teetering on the edge of the ring now. The fire ferrets line up to strike. Technically, you said I couldn't watch, watch. a match. Yeah. You didn't say anything about listening to one. You, you know what I meant. She's sneaking away. All right, so what's pro bending? That's cool. I was just looking for a bathroom and I got lost. Ah, the old I had to pee yeah. excuse. You know, I'm sick and tired of you kids sneaking in without paying. I'm taking you to security. Back is there. No, wait. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. She's with me. Yeah, I'm with him. So, you see, we're together. Well, not together together. More like friends. Who right this way, miss? Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I told you. You have to stop bringing your crazy fangirls in here before the matches. <laughs> Get her out of here. Ah, oh, come on, Mako. All right, look, I kind of promised her she could stay. Sorry about that. My brother just gets real focused before a match. Okay, I gotta go. Wish me luck. Huh. Not that I'll need it. <laughs> it's like X Games. Good luck. <laughs> Knock him out. Oh, cool. Yeah, how's it work? It's like Quidditch. The two teams waste no time trying to blast each other out of zone one. Oh, okay, so it's a territory game. Uh, looks like the Sook's in trouble. He's in Damn, zone buddy. three, teetering over the tree. Oh. And Hazook no. takes a dip. He'll be back for round two. I want to play this. Yeah. <laughs> and now he totals right into his teammates. Uh. He and Bolin better untangle quick if they don't want it. Oh, oh. ow. Jeez, that would hurt. Oh, no. It seems his plan is to let the Tiger Dillos punch themselves out. And his plan is working. Oh, oh jeez. That's right around. Left in the tank and Mako is on the offensive. I feel the fire. It's two on one. Scratch that. It's oh. one on one. And it's an earth and fire. So There's so much smoke and dust from the fire. I, I can't even see where the fire ferret is. Wow. Jeez. You won't be three now. Hell yeah. So, what'd you think, Cora? Bolin's got some moves, huh? What did I think? What did I think? That was amazing! You did more harm than good out there. You almost cost us the match. We won, didn't we? Barely. Get off my case, pal. Ugh. Hmm. Useless. Is they brothers? Oh, Different vendors? Here. I can show you the basics. I'm just not sure how my earth bending would translate to your water bending, but we'll figure it out. Won't be a problem. I'm actually an earthbender. I'm sorry. No, no. I didn't mean to assume. Because, you know, I was just figuring with your water tribe get up that you are a water tribe gal. No, you're right. I'm a waterbender and a firebender. Mm. Mm hmm. I'm very confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're the avatar and I'm an idiot. Both. Did you miss the news? True. No way. She's just trying to go through. She got at least in the middle before she got hit. 
Well, that ain't gonna help. That was a 2,000 year old historical treasure. What? What is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I I've been practicing just like you taught me. Cora, this isn't something you can force. If you would only listen to me. I have been! But you know what I think? Maybe the problem isn't me. Maybe the reason I haven't learned airbending yet is because you're a terrible teacher! <sighs> yeah, you're a terrible teacher, Daddy. <laughs> can do right now is to give Cora some space. You must promise me that your teenage years won't be like this. <laughs> I will make no such promises. <laughs> this looks a no good no show. You got two minutes to come Who's gonna have to do it then? I don't know. How about me? I'm a top-notch waterbender, if I do say so myself. Time's up. You in or out? We're in. We are? Yes. Hey, <laughs> I didn't agree to this. You can thank me later. Can you do that? Penalty. Move back one zone. Yeah. What? Why would they not tell the rules before they start? Yeah. Foul over the line. Move back to zone three. Oh my god, tell her something. She she should know that. I feel like that's common sense. They are focusing the front of their bending on this poor girl. Don't. No. Wait a minute. Did that water bender just earth bend? One damn thing she was supposed to do. She did. Oh, I think. Is there having to replay in this? Me, <laughs> That'd be That's terrible. Seen Cora this evening. She's not in her room. You gotta be kidding me. She's the Avatar, folks. Oh, shit. Playing in a pro-trending match. Can you believe that? I'll get her myself. <sighs> I'm so pissed at Cora. The Avatar will be permitted to continue so long as she solely bends water. And she's in the drink. Shit. I know very well. She's, she's not focused. flowing. It's a not, pro sport. She's not flowing. If she would listen to the flowiness, yeah, oh, hey, dodging Tenzin. stuff, she's not dodging. She's trying I to charge through. I like coming to these matches. <laughs> Once again, you have flagrantly disobeyed my orders. You were to stay on the island. Let's go. No, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Why I'm ordering you to come back to the temple right now. Why? So I can sit around and meditate about how bad I am at airbending? You know, I'm beginning to think there's a reason I haven't been able to learn it. Because maybe I don't even need it. What? That is a ludicrous suggestion. I have a match to go finish. The platypus bears win round two. Platypus bears. Round three. <laughs> Looks like the Avatar's pro debut is going to be cut <sighs> short. He's been pushed back to zone three and the water is Show him that you can listen. It's only a matter of time before... Hold the phone! Stop hey, the hold the phone! She's still in the game, folks, and she's moving like an entirely different player. Yeah, All of a sudden, this is what Aang would do. That would hurt so fucking right? bad. Water yeah, there! Fall all that earth. way and land. So humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was good. The way you dodge their attacks, you are a natural. Thanks. But I can't take all the credit. Someone else taught me those moves. Now go apologize. Right? And then he can apologize. I'm really sorry. I was really frustrated with myself, and I took it out on you. I think I owe you an apology, too. I was trying to teach you about patience, but I lost mine. No hard feelings? Of course not. By the way, you were really good out there tonight. You moved just like an airbender. Wait, you stayed and watched? <laughs> I did. Pro bending turned out to be the perfect teaching tool for you. I'll see you tomorrow for airbending practice, bright and early. And by the way, I kind of permanently joined the fire ferrets and we're playing in the tournament in a couple of weeks. <sighs> <laughs> oh, maybe he's not so tough. Uh-oh. They're making a love interest right now already. Yep. It's like that episode. It's like the first episode of Smallville. Thanks for the dance, Lana. I'm, I'm lo I love the episode. I'm loving this. Me man. too. I mean, Avatar, it took me a couple, like when we first started, it took me a couple episodes to really start getting into it. Whereas I'm already into the world. Yeah. I already know so much about it. Yeah. So I can just experience new stories. I love it. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think on this might be geared a little bit towards those Avatar fans that got a little older. Yeah, I agree. Because it's not like little kids on a journey. Yeah. It's like teenagers discovering 
themselves yeah. in adulthood, yeah. you know? It's, yeah. it's a way of trying to keep your audience and maturing with it, you know? Like yeah. a lot of And you do. know, I probably would have been more annoyed with Korra if I have never seen Avatar. Because Aang and Korra, they're completely different. Aang was all about the spiritual side. Yeah. And honestly, wasn't very aggressive, you know? Yeah. So he probably would have been really, I mean, obviously he was. He's a master airbender by the time he's 12. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Honestly, for a water tribe person, she seems more fire nation. I would you know? agree, Much yeah. more headstrong yeah. and forced. She's aggressive. Yeah, yeah, rather than like flowing with things. Or... I, but she could be more Sokka-like. I, I would have said that she's more earth nation. Because that, that was the whole thing that Aang was struggling with. Yeah. He just constantly wanted to avoid things well, rather than go headstrong. It, that's, the, that's the thing. Like, earth and fire are more related. And, and then water air and water air are more related yeah. in terms of temperament or in terms of spirituality, I guess. Yeah. Right? I, I just find it interesting that, like, when we found Aang, he had to learn how to bend. But he was probably as spiritual as he was at the end of the show. Yeah. But with Korra... She knows how to bend, but she has no idea about the spiritual side. So it's interesting, I, and you know, I think that's more of what she needs to learn now yeah. in order to get the. I wonder if she techniques. is like as masterful of one element as Aang was at airbending. Airbending, yeah. I would say probably not, but uh -huh. the fact that she can do all of them probably makes her. That's the advantage she has in this world. I think yeah. Aang's advantage was because he was so spiritual. I mean, he meditated for like a hundred years. Yeah, in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Right? That probably helps. Him. Well, it yeah. also helps that. For a hundred years, no one's fought an airbender, so they That's don't have true. the experience. I, I was even thinking about that in this game. Like, what? Like, airbenders can't play? No, oh, there's not that many of them. Because there's only there's three players, and it's all each team has one of each, yeah, right? Yeah. So if you're an airbender, it's like, well, we don't let you play. There's not many of them, yeah. But if you were an airbender, they're like, well, you have to have three different elements, you know? If you were like the one airbender in this pro bending sport, you would dominate because no one would have Probably. experience against you. Very possible, yeah. yeah. It'd be like a left-handed uh, batter, right? Yeah, pretty much. We need that air gate thing on the roof. I like yeah, that. Yeah, right. That'd be fun to try to like work on like navigating and flowing through yeah, it and stuff. Yeah. I, I love that like as a teaching technique of like move with it. When yeah. you meet resistance, go go with it, not against it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. So they apologize, but. She destroyed a two thousand year old relic. It's priceless. Yes. That's price. Uh, that's priceless. Like like an airbending there. relic. All the airbenders are gone. That's probably like the only damn yeah. thing they got. Yeah. It'd be like if she destroyed the air bison. <laughs> like what the fuck? It yeah. should have been like the end. Like I'm sorry too, but fuck you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> they just ripped into it. Yeah. Eric. Yeah. I had, I had written it down too, and you said it. I don't know if you left it in, but I wrote down bending brothers. Yeah. But they have different. Yeah. Different, different bending, bending styles. elements. Yeah. They're not blood brothers. So are they not? They are brothers. They said. Brothers. They said. They, are. they said about like this. The brother duo. Yeah. The like announcer that, was know? saying it wasn't like, "Hey man, we're bros." It was, "Hey man, they're brothers." No, I but think, one I think was fire brothers. and one was earth. Bolin was, is earth and Mako is fire. Which was some of the stuff we actually talked about in last series was we about did. like. Well, what, you if, know, if, what if Aang and Katara yeah, like have if, kids? If Aang and Katara have yeah. kids, what are they? Or, you know, does it, does it depend on where you live? Or is it based on blood? Or is it genetic? You know, like, so how does could it work? be that there was, like, a, a fire nation and an earth uh, kingdom? Yeah. They got together, since, had two kids. Since everything's united, yeah, could that have happened? And that's why it happened? Yeah. Or, like, I'm still curious on how the bending is passed on, you know? Like, yeah, with Star Wars, you know, you learn about the Force, and then they added, yeah. like, the midichlorian thing, and that's why people are more powerful or less powerful. Yeah. But, like, with bending, like, we haven't really gotten any kind of explanation of, like, what makes, you know, if I have a kid, what makes it a bender or not yeah. a bender? Like, why was Katara a bender, but Sokka wasn't? I mean, so, obviously, you have genes and chrom chromosomes and all that stuff, and that's gonna, they look alike, but bending is a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. So how, like, how does, like, if you have parents, one from each tribe, you probably, probably and then you're a bender, how does it determine which one you're, you are? Well, it's more common now than it was in Aang's era. Yeah. Because there's so much ethnocentrism back then, like the water, if we're, save if, the water, the fire. If we remember the, the fortune teller episode from Avatar, there were two twins. One of them was a bender, one of them wasn't. Yeah. So we've, we, you know, and we talked about that last yeah. episode. See, I, we've seen, like, siblings being, this one's a bender, this one's not a bender. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a, having someone a different element. Yeah, this is the first time this we've seen, this one's a bender, and this one's a bender of another element. Yeah. So like it's interesting. Yeah, it's just different. I wonder if we'll see more of that, and if we'll get I hope more so. information, or maybe we'll meet their parents and be like, I know, "Oh, I lived in this, and I lived I in this." And that like kind the, of, oh, like, okay. I know, like the 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 mighty bending deity has a way of bouncing itself out. Like, like the kids are all airbenders. Like none of them have been just normal. 
from uh, Tenzin. From Tenzin, yeah. yeah. But they are all descendants well, of an well, avatar, yeah. so could that be a relation? Maybe. You know, Anakin's offspring yeah. were very powerful Force users because of, I'm sure, Metachlorian yeah. count, you know, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, like, Korra's parents didn't seem to be benders. No. You know? Not that we've seen. They could be. I'm not saying they're not. They didn't seem to be. And if at, at most they would be water benders, I guess. Yeah. But, so, yeah. like, could two non-bending parents have... Yeah. That. But no, that's interesting. A lot of people, you know, talk when I mean, we have these kind of questions in Avatar. There's like, well, wait for Korra. So I'm assuming we'll get some kind of these kind of answers as we watch. Yeah. Oh, so I want to know what uh, Aang's other kids are. Yeah. Whether I'm the, really whether interested the, in that. I mean, they had three kids. So they, I, they had Boomy, Tenzin, and someone else. That we know of. I, I'd like to see if they were all different. Elements. That'd be, if one's water, at least. Yeah. If he's yeah. with Katara, one's Katara water. Katara is air. living in the South Pole. And maybe yeah. one's nothing. Or maybe one's fire. Maybe one's fire. Maybe, maybe <laughs> Boomy is actually an earthbender. Could, yeah. Like his namesake. I guess that's true because he's an. If, if you're the child of an avatar. It could be anything. You know, would, it, would you have earthbending genes and then spirituality? You have. Yeah. yeah I don't no, know. No. Earth, but the name probably bending, came I mean. before he became a bender, though, so that might not actually have anything to do with it. Maybe. But. Hmm. Could he? It's that's possible. interesting. Well, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure, we have to meet them at some we'll point, have right? To meet him. They, they, you don't say that he has multiple siblings, and, and then you just never see him. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I don't know how this ends, but I know it's well on the pipe. I don't know how they haven't done a third series yet. Huh? Well, that's I, something I feel yeah. like I'd want to go on forever. Maybe, <laughs> right? maybe they didn't want to overstay their welcome. Well, they had the a, only they had a few years between yeah. Korra and Aang. And I don't yeah. know when this ended, but they yeah. could have some time. Like, hey, we have another story. Let's go with this. The only thing I know about this series in terms of production is that, because there's only 12, like 12 episodes the first season, whereas there was 20 in in Avatar. So they ordered like a miniseries. And it was liked. And and then that was, then it was liked. Then they did the next one. They did the same thing for that. Then they did the next one in terms of the season. So this isn't really written or produced with the idea of. She fights the Fire Lord at the end. You know, it's kind right. of like a, yeah. as long as long as you're telling yeah. stories that are like it's more here's, here's a story we have. Let's tell it. Yeah, like Avatar itself had like yeah. we have an overall story. You know, we have this long to do it. So let's yeah. tell the story over this time. Mm-hmm. And I like that. Yeah, but if, if they don't have more stories to tell, I don't want them just to make it Agreed. and then they ruin like the yeah. the uh, series and stuff. Yeah, yeah. make it less. But yeah. The, yeah. Um, the only other thing I really have is I wonder how old Tenzin is. I don't know. I'd say he's like 50, 40, something like that maybe. Tenzin? I, I would say he's I would say he's like 30s. He's I was just trying to think like, like when would like late Aang 40s. and Katara have had children? Yeah. And is he it the could oldest? Have been just a few years after. Is he the youngest? Yeah. He he could don't really have a good time frame yet on like any of that stuff. Yeah. So maybe maybe we'll learn. Yeah. That'd be cool to know. Because there were 12 and 14 at the end of Avatar, I think, right? Him being the oldest one could make sense if you look at, like, his kids. Because yeah. the oldest one seems much more, like, calm and, yeah. like, centered. And mm-hmm. then the youngest one is just, like, boomy crazy, you know? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so. I could be. I don't know. I just really love his design. Because, um, you know, we only had one, one airbender mm-hmm. in all of the last and he's a kid. series. And he was a kid. And, he, you know, he wasn't very serious. I mean, he was sometimes. But I just... I like seeing his moments of realization too. He's still learning, you know. Yeah. I wonder how Aang was when he's older, though. That's what I. I hope we get that kind of stuff. We've already seen Katara. She's still alive. We've seen a statue of Toph. I mean, all it takes is them doing like they did before and like telling a story of Aang, and yeah. they could go back and kind of show a little bit about him. Like, like I would love, you know, him. I'd love to see like what was the formation of Republic City like. I mean, if if that should be Toph the, is the, the leader of the police, like what did Zuko do? What did Sokka yeah. do. Yeah. This thing. All right, that's all I got. Uh, this is officially the pilot so far. Yeah. Episode one and two, we separated them out, and I think that they were very clearly separate episodes. Too. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, really enjoyed it. Anything else, guys? That's it. No. Very good. Let's I'm go enjoying it. Yeah. Done. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, as always, we'd be, up- we'd, be- we'd be uploading these on Friday. And if you want to watch the next one, you can right now at patreon.com. Slash blind wave. Have we seen lemurs? Yes, I got Momo. Yeah, okay, good. Momo. Oh, they were crossing the woodbridge. And they said turtle duck. Yeah.